All right, so springtime is in the rear view, so you know we got to get into our summer bag. And what better way to do that than to start off talking about summer shorts? So, in this video, we got my top five summer short styles. This isn't necessarily talking about the brands, although I will highlight those, but it's the style of the short. So, there's a lot of different options out there. These are my favorite. Let's get into it right now. All right, starting things off, we got a style of short that is one of my favorites. If you've been subscribed, to this channel for a while now, you've seen me wear sweat shorts. That's exactly what these are. But this is a better version. This is a pair from the Kith and Russell Athletic collab. Now what I want to highlight about these is the color. These were pigment dyed. Finding a pair like this can be a little bit difficult, but keep an eye out for it. Read the description of the shorts that you're buying. Look for pigment dyed. It makes the color a little bit more faded, but it also has a unique tone. These are a little bit faded in person. I'm sure on camera they look like a bright red, but in person they're a little bit more faded. They look worn. They've got like that super washed look. And that's something that I like in my t-shirts and my shorts this season. I thought that Kith and Russell did a good job with these. So keep an eye out for this style, but let's keep it moving. Okay, next up, we got one of my favorite pairs of shorts. We got the Nike DNA basketball shorts. I got these at the beginning of spring in pretty much any color I could find them in. I've got three pairs now. This one is a little bit more subtle, but the main attraction about these shorts is the floral print with the combination of the basketball short. These retail for 55 bucks, but they're on sale right now for like 30 something. I don't know if they sold out or not. If they didn't, I'll be sure to link them for you guys. These are lightweight, dry fit material, so they're really perfect for those hot summer days, and they actually have zipper pockets, so if you have keys or whatever, you know, you can stash them in here and they're not gonna go flying anywhere. These fit a little bit on the longer side, so if you're in between sizes, I would definitely go down. And this next Nike pair is kinda just like a bonus. It's a combination of the first two pairs of shorts that I showed you guys. We got that classic Nike basketball style, but these are a sweat short. They're a heavy fleece. So it's an interesting combination and obviously it's in this yellow color that's very bold. And I don't know, I just wanted some flashy shorts and the Nike sign on the side just kind of stood out to me a little bit. These are perfect for like that breezy summer day when you can maybe wear a sweatshirt with shorts. That's an amazing combination by the way. Hoodies and shorts, love that combo. But it's pretty rare that you can actually wear those two together. Retail is 65, I got them on sale. You should be able to get them on sale too if you wanna grab a pair. There's a few different colors that I saw as well, but let's keep it rolling. All right, so like I showed you with these Nike DNA basketball shorts, floral print is amazing. It's definitely in this summer. So you gotta make sure you have some basic shorts with patterns or floral design in there. Patterns in general are huge this summer. Not necessarily just floral stuff, like the shorts that I'm wearing have this bandana design. These are a collab between Converse and RSVP Gallery, by the way. But these are a great buy. They're actually from H&M, which I don't really shop at much, but if I do, it's typically in the summertime for trendy items just like this. $12.99, can't really beat that. It's got this all over floral print and uh, the shorts are a little bit on the shorter side and I've mentioned that before. That's something that's definitely in style this summer as well. The long shorts that hit below the knee, those are fine. I mean, if you're comfortable in those and that's what you've always worn and you like those, stick to it, it's all good. But in my opinion, if the shorts are a little bit shorter and they hit right above the knee, that's fine too. It's just a, a personal preference. I just sometimes feel like I don't need all that extra material or if I'm wearing like a t-shirt that is not necessarily long line, it can be like a little bit lopsided if my shorts are longer than my tee is. So a shorter short is not bad and if you look at any clothing brand this summer, they're offering shorter shorts. So they're definitely in style. And then the combination of this floral print is nice. So if you wanna grab an affordable, trendy pair of shorts, you can do that from H&M. So if you like these and you kinda wanna offset that shorter short look, you can definitely go a size up. If you wanna keep them just like they fit me, you can go true to size. And by the way, I'm 6'2", 190 pounds, 
and these are a large, I'm a 34 waist, that's what works for me. Okay, next up in totally changing gears, we gotta talk a little bit about menswear. Most of these shorts are very casual and streetwear-esque, but I know a lot of you guys, like me, have to wear menswear often and you enjoy it. I love wearing menswear, but it's hard to feature on this channel sometimes because it's usually pretty basic, right? There's nothing flashy about it, but it is important and you should have some in your closet if you go to like business casual events, work, somewhere where you can't wear streetwear, you know? Most of you have probably got chino shorts in your closet. I've got a few pairs, but what makes these different is the material and the fit. These are the Air Chino from Everlane, and they are the lightest weight chinos that I own. These are lighter weight than a lot of these shorts. Maybe these mesh ones that I'm gonna get to next are more lightweight, but they're really close to it. And on a hot summer day, when you still have to dress pretty presentable, you want something that's gonna breathe. You don't wanna be sitting there in these like heavy cotton khakis just dying. <laughs> you gotta have some nice lightweight shorts. So that's what these are. They're called the Air Chino, and their name says it all. So the material is definitely the standout piece with these shorts. It's almost like a nylon. So if you wanna elevate your menswear look for the summer, check these out. This is my first pair, they're in black. This is not sponsored content. I wear a ton of Everlane stuff, 48 bucks, and typically this stuff fits a little bit slim, but that's the way I like it. Okay, so we've had the pigment dyed sweatshorts. We've had shorts with patterns on them. We've had basketball style shorts, and we've had chino shorts. Now, we gotta get into a summer staple, mesh shorts. I've got two different styles here to show you. All right, first up, we got a pair of Eric Emanuel shorts. If you're unfamiliar with Eric Emanuel, he's a designer that's done collabs with Adidas and a bunch of other boutiques. Now, these are pricey shorts. They're definitely expensive, and if you're on a budget, they may not work for you. I mean, he puts out shorts that are $250, $300 with all these crazy materials on them. These hit for 88 bucks, and they're in this Celtic green color. He's got his logo screen printed on the side, the double E logo done in orange. I like this combination a lot. This is my first pair of Eric Emanuel shorts. They sell out pretty quick. I've missed out on a bunch, but I was thankfully able to grab these. They are made in New York City, and I know a lot of you that may not mean much, but it's difficult to manufacture in New York City and keep your prices low, so keep that in mind. But just know I'm okay with paying a little bit more of a premium knowing that my product that I'm buying was made in the USA somewhere, especially in New York City. So like I said, these hit for $88 and that may not be in some of your budgets, which is totally cool. When I was younger, there's no way I was affording $88 shorts. So don't feel bad about that. But on the more affordable side, we've got a pair of PacSun mesh shorts. These things hit for 25, I think I got them for. I've shown you the off-white pair and the navy pair, but I didn't know they came in burgundy. And as soon as I saw them on the website, I copped them with the quickness. To put things into perspective, if you own a pair of champion shorts, the quality on these is double, far superior. So if you like buying those, definitely check these out because they're a lot better. They're also double lined. A couple nice details are obviously this drawstring adds a little bit of a contrast. And then you have two side pockets and also an additional back pocket. But overall, you can't beat these for the price. So let me know down in the comment section what style shorts you guys have been wearing. What's your favorite? Definitely leave it in the comments. Help everyone else out. Maybe you can put us onto a brand that you've been rocking for the past couple years that I have overlooked. But these are my personal favorites for the summer. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video one time and subscribe if you are new. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, all Eddie Wing Kicks. A ton of summer content is on the way, including a summer lookbook. We're gonna get into t-shirts. I've got a summer clothing haul, so a lot of stuff is on deck. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.